Hi! In this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a logo reveal like this one. To make this effect you're gonna need to download a free plugin from Video Copilot so you can follow the link in the description. To get started I'm gonna create a new composition which is gonna be used for the logo. It's gonna be using the HDTV 1080 preset and the duration is gonna be 5 seconds. So right here you need to import your logo or improvise a logo like I'm gonna do right now. So I'm going to type in E and then I'm going to align it to the center. Make sure that you do that with your logo. And then I'm gonna create a shape layer. I'm going to add a rectangle. I'm gonna increase its size like that. And I'm gonna increase the roundness and I'm gonna add a white stroke. I'm gonna change the width to 10 and that's it. So right now I need to create a new composition. I'm gonna call it main and then I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'm gonna drag this logo composition into the new one. So the first thing that we need to do is select this logo composition and then press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then I can rename this to logo blue glow. And then before applying this effect, we need some layer masks. So this effect works around layer masks or text layers and you could of course create masks yourself but that would be very time consuming. But thankfully After Effects can do that itself. You need to select this composition and then you need to click on layer, auto trace and then just hit OK. And as you can see After Effects has created the masks for us. So the next step is going to be opening the effects and presets panel and then typing in Saber, which is the name of the plugin. It's going to be located in the video copilot folder. So let's drag it onto this logo. And right now, the first thing that we need to change is go to customize core and set the core type to layer masks. So right now, the glow is around these masks. And the next step is going to be opening the render settings and then setting the composite to transparent. That way this logo below is going to be visible. So the first thing that we're going to animate is the opacity. We're going to select both of these and we're going to press T to show the opacity and we're going to hit the stopwatch. So that has created two keyframes. I'm going to change both of them down to zero and then I'm going to press shift and page down to move 10 frames forwards and I'm going to change the value to 100. So this is what we've animated so far. It's going to be moving the playhead to 1 second and 20 frames right here and then creating an opacity keyframe for the logo with the effect and setting the opacity back to 0. So this is what we've animated so far. The next step is going to be adjusting the saber effect. So we're going to create a keyframe for the mask evolution and we're going to animate that later. Then we're going to change the core size down to 2. You can change the color but I'm going to use blue for this one and it's already set. And then we're also going to change the end offset to 50. Let me move the playhead so you can see what that's doing. So this is what changing the end offset is doing. I'm going to set it to 50 and I'm going to set the start size to 0. So this is what we've done so far. I'm also going to change the end roundness to 1. And after doing this, we can animate the mask evolution. So let's select this layer and press U and that's going to show us all the keyframes. So as you can see, we have some mask keyframes right here, but we don't need those. So we're going to be looking at this keyframe right here. And we're going to set the mask evolution to minus 100. And then all the way out here at 1 minute and 20 frames, we're going to set it to positive 200 degrees. So this is what we've done so far. As you can see, these strokes are moving along the path. And it's taking a bit longer to render than your usual effects, 
but again the look of this is amazing and it's really simple to do so that's what we've done so far the next step is going to be animating the core size so we're going to set a keyframe right here at one second and then we're going to set another one right here by simply changing the value let's type in 0.5 and that's automatically created a keyframe you can press u two more times and that's going to show the keyframes that we've just created and this is how it looks right now so as you can see we have already created this effect so you can experiment yourself and try other things um, this is a really cool effect to play with and you can get amazing results so you can end here or you can duplicate this layer by selecting it and then pressing ctrl d and then let's change this to red like that and let me rename this to logo red glow and right now the blue one isn't visible anymore so to fix this i'm gonna press u and i'm gonna take these mask evolution keyframes and I'm simply going to invert them. So since we don't have any keyframe interpolation, I can just drag this like that. And this is how it looks right now. Another thing that you can do is you can select this set of evolution keyframes and then you can control click to select this one and you can hit F9 to ease them and then you can open them in the graph editor and you can play with the velocity to get a cooler effect. So as you can see, let me just preview this. Um, now the effect is going to be a bit faster in the beginning. So that's it for this tutorial. You can see that it's a really interesting plugin and you get amazing results quickly. For more tutorials like this one, please check out my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.